In this video, we are going to dive deeper into our sweep command inside of Autodesk Inventor. So here I have a sweep guide rail IPT from our working files directory. And what I have here so far is three sketches. I have sketch one, which is the straight line that you see there. Sketch two, which is a spline. And sketch three, which is a closed profile. I'm going to begin my sweep command. It's going to automatically select my only closed profile. And then for the path, I'm going to choose the straight line. This looks just like an extrusion. I have a profile being swept across a straight path. However, what I would like to do is change the shape and the scaling as the profile sweeps along the path. To do that, I have my third sketch that was created up here, this guide rail sketch. And I need to change my type to be path and guide rail. Now I can select that guide rail with another cursor selection. You can see it changes the X and Y scaling as it goes along that path. This will be very, very difficult to create on its own. So here I'll choose the X again. You can see that it changes the scaling to just be X based scaling. Back to X, Y, you see it changes in both directions. Go ahead and choose OK to create that finished sweep. If I go to the left hand side of the screen and pull down my end of part marker, I have some additional geometries here where I would like to create more advanced sweeps for this particular shape as well. I have some surfaces which I need to utilize to create a intersection curve to create a curve that bends in the X, Y, and Z direction for my sweep. I'll go ahead and start my 3D sketch command. Choose the intersection curve tool and select both surfaces. I'll choose OK. And I will also finish the 3D sketch. I'm going to turn off the visibility of these two surfaces so we can see better. There is our X, Y, and Z bent path. On the inside of this top solid, I also have another profile on the inside. So when I start my sweep command here, it automatically selects this profile on the inside. I'm going to choose this as my path. You can see I get that nice XYZ sweep path going on there. However, I would like to make an ergonomic looking handle for this particular shape. So instead of just a normal path, I'm going to choose a path and a guide rail. If I choose this curvature right here, you can see how that creates more of a bulbous shape as it blends out. If I select this curve here instead and deselect this curve by holding down control, you can see I get a more ergonomic looking handle or someone could grab onto this with their hand. Now it's simply created by a little spline there with different control points. I'll choose OK. And there's our finished handle onto this particular plastic design. So this has been a look at sweep with guide rail, which is a more advanced way to create more organic shapes without having to dig into higher end tools such as freeform design. However, it's very nice if you want to get something quick like this or really kind of change the contour of what you're trying to design. 